Hey everybody, so today we're gonna learn all about jellyfish. Jellyfish? Hmm, I got a unique fact about jellyfish that I learned the hard way. Jellyfish do not taste like jelly. So let's learn about jellyfish in this brand new video. But before we do, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. That's right. So let's start the video and learn all about Jellyfish! Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are over 2,000 species of jellyfish around the world? These species include stinging jellyfish called medusae, as well as non-stinging jellyfish called comb jellyfish or tenophores. Jellyfish are made up of three different layers. The first is the epidermis, which is the outer layer. Then we have the mesoblee, which is the middle layer made up of a thick, stretchy, jelly-like substance. The third is the inner layer, called the endoderm gastrodermis. Hey, guess what? Did you know that jellyfish aren't actually fish? They're actually gelatinous invertebrates which means they don't have a spine and are squishy like, you guessed it, jelly. Jellyfish can be very tiny. Some are just under a half an inch, but some can be as large as six and a half feet. Jellyfish do not have brains, a heart, or even lungs. As important as these organs are to most mammals like us, Jellyfish can live without them. Jellyfish absorb oxygen through their delicate skin, which is why they don't need lungs. Because jellyfish do not have blood, jellyfish don't need a heart to pump blood through their body. Jellyfish have a set of nerves that let them move instead of needing a brain to tell them where to go. However, they do have a very simple nervous system with receptors that can see light and detect vibrations, as well as chemicals that are near them. 95% of a jellyfish's body is made up of water. The other 5% is structural proteins, muscles, and nerve cells. Hey, guess what? Did you know that some jellyfish are bioluminescent? You know what that means? This means they can produce their own light and glow in the dark. And you know what that also means? Jellyfish are terrible at hide and go seek. <laughs> <laughs> some jellyfish are clear, while others can be a colorful pink, yellow, blue, and even purple. Some jellyfish have tentacles that have stinging cells that are used to stun or paralyze prey before eating them. And we'll learn more about this in just a moment, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Jellyfish have an opening inside their bell-shaped bodies that they use as their mouth. Hey, guess what? Did you know that jellyfish eat and discard waste from this opening in their body? <gasps> That's right! You heard that right! Jellyfish have to poop mm. from the same place they eat because jellyfish can't float if they had food still in their bodies. Imagine how their breath smells. <laughs> they poop from there. Poop from there. Ew. Jellyfish are carnivorous and eat small swimming organisms called plankton, which is a mixture of tiny sea creatures like amphipods, copods, and krill. Some jellyfish also eat small baby shrimp, crabs, fish, and sometimes even other jellyfish. Do you know what that's called? What? Being really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Some, but not all, jellyfish use stinging cells called nematocysts to sting and paralyze their prey. But how do jellyfish sting? Sting? S sting. Sting? Like, rock! 
Roxanne! You don't have... No. Nope. Okay. When jellyfish touch an object, they burst open and out pops a very small, sharp barb. And this barb punctures their prey, injecting it with venom. And even though they have their venomous defenses, jellyfish still have predators. Tunas, sharks, swordfish, sea turtles, and even some species of salmon are jellyfish's natural enemies. Hey, guess what? Did you know that jellyfish have wandered the oceans on our planet Earth for more than 600 million years? That's right, Gus. Jellyfish have been around before dinosaurs, before fish, trees and flowers, and even fungi like mushrooms. Jellyfish can be found in every ocean on the planet. I would hope so. I mean, they've been around for like over half a billion years. <laughs> nope. No, I'm serious. <laughs> it's a long time. You think they would discover anything? They Jellyfish are marine or saltwater creatures, but some jellyfish can be found in freshwater too. Most jellyfish species live for less than one year, but some only live for a couple of days. But some jellyfish can live forever. That's right! There's a species of jellyfish called the immortal jellyfish, or Teratopsis dornii. These immortal jellyfish can be found in the Mediterranean Sea and in the waters of Japan. Hey, guess what? Did you know that baby jellyfish are called ephora? A jellyfish's life cycle begins from an egg that turns into larva, then into a polyp, and then into ephora. Jellyfish then mature into the medusa stage, which is the name for an adult jellyfish. Believe it or not, not all jellyfish have tentacles. For example, the deep staria is a species of jellyfish known for their thin, sheet-like bodies and absence of tentacles. The largest known species of jellyfish is called the hair jelly or giant jellyfish. Wow, genius. In 1870, the largest recorded jellyfish was found on the shore of Massachusetts Bay. This enormous jellyfish had a bell with a diameter of 7 feet 6 inches and tentacles that were 121 and a half feet long. That is longer than a blue whale, which happens to be the largest mammal in the world. We should also probably mention something else. Do you know what? What? Tell them. Oh, forget it, I'll do it. We have a video all about blue whales. Duh, you yeah. shot the video with me. A group of jellyfish can be called a bloom, a swarm, or a smack of jellyfish. Blooms can have just a few jellyfish or thousands in them. If you ever get stung by a jellyfish, you should remove the tentacles with tweezers and soak the area stung in hot water, and this will help the pain. There are a lot of names for different types of jellyfish. Some of the coolest names include the fire jellyfish, cannonball jellyfish, Portuguese man of war, and even purple people eaters. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about jellyfish. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.